So, so, so. Welcome back Gunnets. Well, as you can see, we're right in the swing of summer here in beautiful New Zealand and um, that means a lot more getting out to the outdoors, a lot more shooting, a lot more hunting. So, um, one of my favourite times of the year. What we'll be reviewing today is the Romanian military surplus ammunition available in bulk from Iraqi ammunition. Um, so, 499 for 1320 rounds. 1320 rounds for what? $499. That is dirt cheap. So um, if you've got something to put that ammunition through, I can only recommend getting a hold of it. Our military surplus is some of the cheapest shooting that you'll do. Um, it's great plinking ammunition. If you have something in 762 by 39 to put this through. Um, I recommend getting your hands on some and I always say military surplus will never be any cheaper than it is right now. You never get it at a cheaper price, it only goes up in value. Um, and everybody I hear, talk to about buying it uh, reckons buying one case isn't buying a bulk. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you've got something that shoots 762 by 39 definitely get your hands on some of this stuff and uh, if you don't consider getting something to put it through it because you'll do a hell of a lot more shooting get a hold of 1300 rounds for $500. Um, so without further ado let's get into the review. Um, we'll be looking at um, chronographing some of the stuff, just some shooting tests. So we'll be looking at shooting a few random things like uh, GoPros, laptops, uh, barbecue plate, steel, top, steel gongs and um, we'll just generally see how it goes. Um, a little bit of a grouping test at the end. So yeah should be a bit of fun, so grab a beer and strap in. Also has this tool here, which is for opening and getting into the cans. <laughs> Way too cool. So here's the inner tin half of that crate um, which contains 660 rounds, the whole crate containing 1320 and that just made a really nice hissing noise as I popped it open and re-inflated up to work your way along bit by bit and pop this big can of sardines
Okay, so we have gun cam set up. I'm going to blast off a little bit of uh, Romanian military surplus 762 by 39. Have a bit of a crack at that uh, monitor down there. Safety off. Okay, so here's some results of uh, some group testing with the VZ58 and with the Romanian um, 762 by 39 military surplus ammo. Um, so this group here, here, and here are the Romanian military surplus. This group here is a um, is just a group of Barnall, so um, not the not the highest quality ammunition you can buy, but modern factory produced ammo, um, just to give you some comparison against some military surplus. Um, so this was done, as the photo shows, uh, up at 35 yards from there, with a red dot, um, which is not ideal, it's kind of like trying to accuracy test it and it's all set up for CQB, quick draw, um, you know, close target acquisition, so I think you can see through the photo that this is an ideal test of the accuracy of the rifle, um, however the scope that I did have set up on there yeah, wasn't high quality and it's been killed by the um, recoil of the 7.62x39 um, and this, this red dot's uh, holding up nicely and um, is obviously grouping a hell of a lot better than a broken scope so gives you some idea. So I've started, <coughs> I've started up here on the right um, and they're grouped well together, but it looks like I've dropped a couple down. Uh, here is some better grouping here. I've made an adjustment up as well after this group. Um, closer to the target and a nice grouping there. You can see they're not huge, it's 35 yards and um, the picture shows the red dot is as big as this target. So it's pretty hard to really pinpoint with no magnification and, a, and a quite a big point of aim. Uh, it's, it's harder to get tighter groups. I'd really love to get a quality short stroke scope on that and just see um, if I could dial those groups down and what the rifle's really capable of. But I'm super impressed with this grouping down here. Um, you know, four out of the five rounds touching. And that's, like I said, you, you see that photo, that is just um, pretty hard. So that's just me getting better as I go through and get used to, used to tapping with that sight and with that rifle but um, that's a bit closer to what the rifle's capable of and that, that you know that makes it a really good shooter if you do need to stretch out um, and you want to sort of uh, reach out a little bit further than you know within 100 yards then um, it's more than capable of it.
That has carved a massive hole there in the turf. I love 762 by uh, 39. Packs a lot of punch. Give up. Welcome back. Well, that was a heck of a lot of fun to do, and um, chewed through a heck of a lot of those rounds doing this review, um, and that has been a lot of fun. Uh, put some through an SKS, I put some through this uh, Czech small arms VZ58 um, with red dot and with a little scope that I managed to kill, and that was a heck of a lot of fun. Um, the 762 by 39 round is quite a powerful, hard hitting little round, as you can probably tell from a lot of the videos there. Um, the way it threw around the laptop, the divots that dug out of the earth, um, the impact that it had on the camera that was strapped to gun cam. So it's got a fair bit of punch. Um, now, as you'll see, it's about the same projectile as the 308 round, the 762 by 51. Um, and it's this, obviously the same diameter, it's 30 cal, but it just doesn't have as much. Uh, it doesn't have as much of a powder chamber or powder reservoir in the uh, in the casing, so yeah, it doesn't quite have as much reach and uh, and once you get out past range. So it's designed as a um, as a close to mid range round. Um, they're a bit lighter to carry in number than the 308 for that reason. So you can see you start to get into carrying hundreds of rounds. Hundreds of these are going to weigh a lot less than hundreds of these. Um, which is a little bit of a benefit of them over 762 by 51. Uh, so, in terms of normal shooting applications, if you've got a 762 by 39, get a hold of some of this stuff. Um, it is pretty dirt cheap, shoots really well. Um, it will never be as cheap as this again. Prices on ammunition only go up, and uh, everybody on the gun forum who speaks about it says buying one case is not buying in bulk. Uh, quite a few of the guys have secured themselves two or three to make sure that they've got a good stash of this ammunition stored well into the future because uh, it'll only go up in price and uh, a lot of them speak of regret of having access to other military surplus ammunition that has been available in the past at very cheap rates and not getting more of it because it's um, got to be shot and eventually runs out. So um, yeah, great ammunition. One thing I would um, recommend though, it is corrosively primed, um, being Romanian military surplus, it has a corrosive primer, so the salts and uh, residue left from firing the gun, if left uncleaned, your gun will start to rust, and that was apparent for me with the SKS, uh, the VZ not quite so much, that's um, sort of modern and coated metal, so that one's stood up to it a lot better than the SKS, the SKS um, I'd recommend immediate cleaning after shooting um, and that can be with just some boiling water down the barrel and then making sure you're, um, you're oiling over all the surfaces, giving it a good um, clean um, and even go so far as to get some solvent out and um, give it a really good thorough clean uh, if that takes
actually fancy. But yeah, I was giving it a good rinse out and um, a really good oil after each shooting and found that that took care of it. But um, yeah, if you shoot a large quantity of it, set aside some time for cleaning. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in getting some, it's available through Aoraki Ammunition. Um, they're a wholesale um, ammunition supplier and they also uh, import firearms. These ones here, I've reviewed a fair bit of their stuff, uh, their firearms and their other ammunition, the Gecko ammunition that they import, uh, which is absolutely is, uh, the brand of the 308. And that ammunition shoots exceptionally well as well, for quite a low price. So um, yeah, if, you, if you're not aware of them already, get on their Facebook page and have a look, and um, get in touch with Paul and Audrey at sales, and they will hook you up with a crate of the stuff. Um, at a minimum, I would say. <laughs> if you can afford to get two, get two. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, if it was useful, give it a like down there on the screen and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's quite a base of videos there now and it all helps. Um, and yeah, keep an eye on some other good reviews coming out soon. Good shooting, tight groups.